to Montana Haven. Today is going to be all about uh, starting your own tomato seeds. And I wanna show you an easy and simple way to start your own tomato seeds. And I need to get this video out because it's getting later in the season and I'm kind of running behind. But we want to start, if you wanna, if you start your tomato seeds indoors, you want to start them at least six uh, weeks before, six to eight weeks before your last frost. And I wanna show you an easy and simple method in starting these seeds. So what you need, I wanna show you a few things what you will need. You will need some potting soil. Now, if you wanna be really redneck, you can go out and just get some soil in your garden or in your chicken house and but sometimes the ratio isn't quite quite right and i have done that before but my plants maybe didn't turn out quite as well so i'm just saying you can literally do with what you have if you don't have some of these things just do with less and you can still grow vegetables but what i got in ace hardware was this black gold natural and organic potting mix so this is like this is natural and organic potting mix this is what I use to start my seeds and today I'm talking about tomato seeds and the other thing you will need is red solo cups they don't have to be red they can be any color but these are 18 18 uh, let me show you here these are 18, 18 ounce, 18 ounce solo cups. And this is what I will be planting my tomato seeds in. And instead of using these, which these are my pepper plants. You wanna start your pepper plants even earlier because pepper plants are slow to germinate. So I started these pepper plants already, as you can tell. So instead of using these little things like this to start my tomato seeds, I will use these and I will make these only half full for the beginning and I will just plant my tomato seed in there uh, just half full and then when that seed sprouts and it becomes it has a couple of its true leaves then I will add more soil to it until the top because tomato seeds they will um, they will get roots wherever their stem is buried in the dirt, their roots will grow. So you want to give them really good, uh, strong root system. So that's why you will add some more around the stem once it has grown some. And then it, you will get a really good and healthy root system. And now next, um, of course, is some water. And when you start your seeds, you wanna put warm water in your dirt so that the so that the dirt is kind of uh, warmed up for your seedlings and then another thing i will add now i have not nearly always done this you don't have to do this step but i think it just helps with with germinating them better and this is organic um pump and grow all-purpose plant food so it just um it has nitrogen and phosphate in it so it just helps with the growing process. So that is, I will add some of this, just a couple pumps in this. So we will get started. And oh, also I forgot. You will also want a couple of these trays like this to set, you can get these, I'm sure in Home Depot, Walmart maybe. I got this in Ace Hardware. You could probably get them on Amazon. And then you will set your cups in there like this. And then one more thing, to label your seeds, because I don't have all the same seeds. I don't have all the same tomato seeds. I have quite a few different ones. Instead of buying these little label thingies that you stick in your plants that are made for that, they are always way more expensive. I just got a pack of 100 um, popsicle sticks, and they work just great, and they're very cheap. So. What we will do is I will add a couple pumps of this organic fertilizer in there. And then you just go 
in there with your hands, you want it nice and damp and warm, damp dirt to start your seedlings in. Okay, I got all these cups half full. Maybe some of them are a little over half full, but it doesn't matter. And so next what I'll do is, I have quite a few packets of different kinds of tomatoes here. And I have like um, sun gold tomatoes. If you do not know what sun gold tomatoes are, they're the absolute best little cherry-like tomatoes, except they're golden and they're so sweet and juicy. They're called sun gold tomato and they do really well here actually they um, I love them every year I plant them and then the hillbilly tomato is a little bit longer season tomato but they do usually get ready and they're kind of uh, yellowish orange and they're really good on like tomato uh, on like uh, mayonnaise bread having a uh, tomato bread oh it's so good uh, and then I have Amish paste tomatoes. I think they should make like a, like tomato sauce, uh, good tomato sauce, pizza sauce, or ketchup. And something called delicious tomatoes and jet setter tomatoes. So I'm going to do all of those. And in each one, I'm going to plant two little seeds. And I'm just going to make a little dent in with my uh, with my finger just a little dent about a barely a fourth inch deep and put two little seeds in there and just lightly cover it up Also, I wanted to show you where I order my seeds now. There's oh, this got wet There's a lot of places Where you can order seeds online? There's some wonderful online places that you can order from but ever since I was married, I mean, for uh, 16 years, I have been ordering from this catalog. And I know there's even, there's better places than this, but they're very reasonable and their prices are very reasonable. I've checked out other prices, other places, and these prices are very reasonable. But these people, I believe, are Amish um, or an old order Mennonite or something because they don't have an email or they don't have a website. They don't have a website. You can only call or, or fax or order by mail. They have uh, order catalog, I mean, sheets in here. So that's what I do. I just call or I just literally write out an order sheet and send it in by mail. And you could also fax it in. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do next. I'm going to plant in, um, these seeds two at a time. So here we go. First, I gotta make a little dent in some of these. in two at a time is because just to make sure that a tomato plant will grow because sometimes sometimes one won't make it so if two of them pop up then you want to let them grow until they have some really sturdy the uh, leaves on them and then you want to get rid of one of the plants you just want to keep the sturdiest one and 
you want to just pinch off the other plant or pull it out but carefully or just pinch it off then next what you want to do is label them so you do not forget what is in what pot so I label each one put a little stick in each one then and this was the jet setter done with all this and I will put the phone number and the address for this um, country corners greenhouse I will put that in the description box below so that you can um, so that if you want to have a catalog or want to order from them you can and this plant food I just got in Ace Hardware. I'm sure you could get it almost anywhere, maybe even online on Amazon. Okay, now just cover the last ones up. And what I'm going to do then is, instead of spending for a dome cover, like a clear dome cover, I just cover them with plastic wrap. I just cover it with plastic wrap lightly, just to keep the moisture in. And then what I'll do is set them uh, by my fireplace where it's warmer and s keep them there until they are till they are germinated until you can start seeing a little sprout come up and then you immediately take the plastic wrap off and you put them under grow lights um, now if you're wondering if a window will help them grow they will grow, but they'll grow really spindly and long and fast trying to reach the sun. It just, it's just not as good as uh, lights that are just directly above them. And that is what I'm going to show you next. As soon as Joas has the time, I'm going to, if you hang on, it will still be in this video, I will show you an easy and simple method you just have to get a couple things or have a couple things on hand and it's a lot cheaper than buying grow lights. Grow lights are really expensive. So uh, I will show you that next, how to set up a grow light system for your tomato plants or whatever type of plants you are, tr you are starting from seed. One thing I did forget to mention was that when, if you do use a solo cup to plant your tomatoes, you want to punch some holes in the bottom of, um, of the cup so that it can drain. It needs to be able to drain. So what I did, I just, I just grabbed a knife and I just punched in a couple of holes. Now there's probably an easier way, but that's the way I did it. I just punched, I just punched in a knife and just kind of turned the knife to open up a hole for, and I did like three of them in the bottom. So that's what you want to do. You want to make sure that the water can drain. PVC pipe and I'm going to cut it about this long, fill this, stick it in here and fill this with dirt or sand or rocks and then I'm going to hang little chains that hook. These are going to hang down from the top of the PVC onto our fluorescent lights and hopefully that's going to work. So the first thing I have to do is cut my uh, PVC pipe and then we're going to cut these a little bit bigger so we can stick them in here. I should have gotten something that was exactly this size, but I don't have anything. I'm just using what I got. I have some conduit. I think it's inch and a half or two inch. So I'm going to cut a hole just that size, put some sand or gravel or something in it, try to work my, uh, my conduit down through there, and then we'll see if that's going to work. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to use the tools that we have. All my tool trailer 
my tool trailer with all my tools is not here. It's actually at a different uh, location, so I'm just going to grab what I have. I have a brand new chainsaw here. So I look for hacksaw. I don't even have a hacksaw. Over, so we're going to use this new uh, 700i uh, still, sorry, 500i uh, still uh, chainsaw. And I cut, I mark these at 30 inches. So we're going to make, uh, I can make four 30 inch lengths so that I have enough for uh, four of these. So here we go. Let's fire up the. I'd say the old saw, but this thing's brand new, so. saw let me tell you it's designed for something different than cutting pipe but that's what I have so that's what I used okay now let's grab these and see if we can uh, make these fit the milk jugs we have to cut these down just a little bit see if we make some cuts in here we just might be able to slide it in there try to jag it in let's get that down in there Is made to order right there. So now I guess we got to put gravel in there before we put this pipe in so that it'll kind of stay down in there. So that works good. Let's retrofit the other ones now. Pop that ring up. Ooh, almost gigged myself. Now we're just going to take this and cut it down in a couple spots like that. Now I've never done this before, we've just seen somebody else do it, so we're gonna give it a whirl. Gardening is a big experiment, I say that all the time. Okay, now we're gonna get some gravel and fill these with gravel. Let's do that, Justin. Okay, now that we have these things filled up with gravel, we're going to try to jab one of these guys down in it. I don't know how that's going to work. Let's find out. Haha. Maybe. What I should have done is I should have seen how far does it need to go. Right there. Okay. there. Boom the yada. I think that might work. Okay. Do the same for these guys. I'm sure there's better ways of doing it, but that's my style. So now we're going to take it inside and get set up. Okay, so now that we have our jugs in here with our um, conduit sticking up in it, I'm simply going to hook the one end onto here with my chain, and hook the other end onto that. There we go. Do the same on this side. Okay, now we have to get our lamps down here. We're going to Put these little hooks in here, and then we're simply going to be able to adjust the height right here. And there we go. I don't know if these are going to work or not. I'm a little bit hesitant to think that they might. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Get another hook for this side. Something like that. Okay, 
Then we'll simply go and plug it in. And voila, there are the grow lights. Now, that's an extremely cheap way to do it, but actually, it seems like they're gonna hold. Maybe a little more gravel might have, might have helped. It's pulling down straight enough, so I think it's gonna not tip over. Okay, but we're gonna actually gonna change bulbs because we got some new bulbs, and these bulbs here, what you want to do is you want to go uh, as bright as you can. And these are 6500K, which is for a Kelvin. So I think these are going to be about what you want. You can go about 4000 to 6500, and those are going to be nice, bright, growing light. Uh, so we're going to swap these out. You can get these in LED, but they were more expensive, and my ballasts are not for LED, so I just wanted to go with these. Uh, with these guys. So we're going to switch out uh, the bulbs now and then we're going to turn the heat on and bring our plants in here and we'll be good to go. And there it is. Very simple. And then we can just adjust the height. So I think that's the next step that we'll do. Then we'll bring our plants in here. That'll make Priscilla happy. Okay, these are just some old boards I found up there. They're nothing special. So I'm gonna just put these underneath here. There we go. Now that right there is very, very rustic, but I think it's gonna look work just fine. Now, we're just going to bring our plants out here and call it good. Let's go get the plants, Ethan. Okay, here's the peppers that we still planted. We're just going to slide these right underneath there. And what you want is you want the light about an inch above these, uh, above your plants. So I'm going to lower these so that it's just right above it. Let's see if that's about right. It's about right. Yep, right above it. Looks good. Okay. Now, we got to turn the heat on. Oh, we have actually have some more plants that need to go underneath there. These guys uh, are flowers that Priscilla planted. So most of them are just, just growing, just started to grow. Not quite all of them. Okay, well you can see how easy that was. I simply cut conduit, and I actually think this is going to work. Like I said, I've never done this before, but uh, it seems to be working just fine. I just got these at a local hardware store. Got these uh, little hooks at the hardware store. Obviously, they're just milk jugs that we had. Uh, water jugs. Just you just use what you got. Um, and then these are some lights I had from previous years. So as we plant more things, we have Priscilla has a lot more started in the house, and then we'll bring those out as they start to germinate and grow. And we'll probably have to every couple of days lower these. But pepper plants, they like a lot of uh, they like a lot of sun, and they like to be very warm. So we're going to turn the heat on, and since it's really bright, they'll if they're if it's kind of cool and it's not too bright, they kind of grow long and spindly. But you want them to have a little thicker stems and be a lot more sturdy. So when you go to transplant them in your garden, they're nice and strong. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed that. That was pretty easy. Okay, guys, this is uh, probably a good week later, and I just wanted to show you how it's doing. Um, <clears throat> my tomato plants are actually up. They're doing well. And, um, and I have peppers and I have some flowers, and I still want to um, start some 
more seed. Um, but these grow lights, um, they are pretty simply made, but you know they cost very little. We had the PVC pipe, we had these light covers, we only had to get the bowls and the chain, and that was literally all that the cost to it. So it's a little bit, you know, it's not so sturdy, but um, I, I think it'll do, it'll be okay. I mean, I'm just thankful you didn't have to spend a lot of money for it, and we'll just do with what we have. And I put, I put these jugs, uh, like these jugs of uh, where the PVC pipe is in, I put them in here in a, like a crate just to give them a little more support so that they don't accidentally tip over because if they would tip over that would be very um it would be bad because it could break the plants so i put them in these crates for that and i think that helps them not to tip over and what you don't want to do you don't want to really shorten these up much further because if you keep shortening them the pvc pipe the, the jug will want to tip over so you want to keep them along and just lift this thing up like put a piece of, of wood underneath that thing to uh, to raise them up so that's what i'll do i'll just put a piece of wood under this crate so it's a simple plan but it works for us and we've done it many different ways we've we've tried many different ways and this is probably the simplest way we've done it um but i don't know we'll see what we'll do next year but I, we just wanted to show you how to start seeds and how to have grow lights with very minimal expense. So I hope this um, was actually helpful for you. For those of you who would like to start a garden, like to start seed, but you just don't have the money for grow lights or for you know expensive seed starting kits. You can just literally start with almost with what you have. You have to buy a few things, but you can put them in, in these like uh, solo cups. They're cheap. They're not expensive. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it and we will see you on the next video.